my little tattle tells yo come in shut the door grab some tea and some snacks all of y'all we gonna have a round table and talk something is going on in courtney's world with travis now you guys know that she got married and i'm so happy for her and i really really do hope she's found eternal happiness but new details had just submerged y'all you know nobody in her family attended the wedding not even her children do you know that two of travis's kids didn't attend the wedding and did you and listen there are theories on that because basically she had to go incognito you thought i was gonna say something else huh to make sure that um cameras weren't there chris is supposedly furious and scott is drowning his worries in a kylie jenner look-alike y'all just when i thought the kardashians couldn't get any weirder let's get into this mess over courtney because i really want to hear your theory on why when nobody there get into this right courtney kardashian and travis barker's wedding who was and wasn't there over the weekend the couple went in santa barbara with a few family members in attendance Courtney was there, Travis was there. They had a super small guest list of their weekend nuptials. After the practice vet wedding in Las Vegas, I honestly, I don't know why, but I do think that they for real, for real got married in Vegas. But Kris Jenner was so mad because everybody point out the same thing. They don't even let you in a chapel in Vegas unless you have the marriage license. So how did you guys get a chapel, go through all this, and then make you get a marriage license? Now, I understand you are Kourtney Kardashian, and maybe in Vegas, they let you get away with different stuff. But honestly, let's be serious, guys. Let's be serious. But I think that Kris Jenner was so mad that they couldn't capitalize on it off of the show that Courtney was like, no, it's just fake mom, we can move on. Now, don't forget there were rumors a long time ago that Courtney and Travis, right? Courtney and Travis's relationship and even the marriage was supposed to be a huge storyline, but it got pushed to the side because Chris thought that Chloe and Kim's drama was more important. Uh, Courtney was so reportedly so upset saying, you guys are always saying I'm boring, always saying I don't work, always saying I'm the, most le the, I'm the least interesting. But now that I finally got like some fire underneath me, Kim, you trying to steal my whole aesthetic, my whole vibe, Chloe, I mean, Chloe's just tragic and allegedly maybe there was still some animosity allegedly about Scott and a Hampton shower and Chloe. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't make the news, I just report it, but let's get back into this, right? Hey, really quick, you guys, if you guys are liking the juice, if you like my nonsensical order, if you like my babbling, if you like my rambling, ADHD people, stand up. Can you guys do me a favor and literally hit that like button? It's just right there. You guys can hit the like button. If you guys don't know, I'm trying to get to a million subscribers. I know, I know, I know. I have a long way to go, but the first step starts with you. And if you really about that life and you love supporting small businesses, hit that subscribe or notifications. Also, if anybody has any tips or opportunities that they want to send me, you can always reach out Tisa tells at gmail.com Tisa tells with one S at gmail.com. I answer everybody, or you could just skip all that and hit me up in my Instagram DMs. All right, all right, all right. I'll get back to the juice because something is a muck in the Kardashian manner and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Let's go. And to the, let me know what y'all think. Um, after the practice wedding in Las Vegas on April 4th, the Kardashian star at age 43 got legally married to Travis, of course, in Santa Barbara. If you don't know, Santa Barbara is also where they got engaged. Now, TMZ has exclusive photos, but this is who's there. Travis's father was there, Randy Barker. Courtney's grandmother, Mary Jo MJ Campbell, were also in attendance. They actually had a small wedding celebration at the courthouse. Now, I get this. Vegas stuff can be nullified. Maybe it was. They said it was at the courthouse. Whatever reason, they had it at the courthouse. It wasn't a big to-do. It wasn't a big nutshells. And I see that Courtney is basically saying F you to, what is it? A, B, C, D, E, F, U, and your father, and your mother, and your sisters, and your dog. Where's Kylie's dogs? Why do I feel like, like, uh, Courtney was like singing that walking down the nuptials. So maybe this is, they actually didn't get that married in Vegas, or maybe they decided to get a wedding license in their state because I, I think with Vegas nuptials, even though you get that piece of paper, you have to register it in California in the state that you live for it to be actually, um, valid 
So maybe she actually got married for the first time officially at the courthouse, or maybe they just registered the certificate at the courthouse and then went through the whole thing about, do you take this person? Do you not? But let's move on, right? Um, the couple were also joined by several bodyguards and literally they met up later with Travis's daughter, Alabama. Alabama, you know, that's the daughter he got with Shannon Mokler. Travis got two daughters and one son, right? Um, listen, Alabama, the 16 year old literally documented the moment and revealed that her dad was very affectionate with his new bride and even carried her through the door of the house. Alabama put on her Instagram post video, wow, you guys are really dressed up. Yes, they got married today and good for them too getting married. But get this, Barker's other kids, son Landon, stepdaughter Atiana, they got a beautiful family, I'll say that, good genes, who sh Mokler shares with boxer, Oliver, boxer uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, you can stop with these details and just get to the point. Didn't seem to be in attendance for the wedding. Despite Courtney's kids getting upset that they weren't included in her engagement, right? It appears that Mason, Rain, and um, Penelope were also not at the ceremony. Instead, the trio were at their dad's house. Because how do we know this? Scott posted a bunch of pics on his Instagram of him chilling with the kids. And get this, notably missing from the wedding festivities were Courtney's sisters, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Kendall and Kylie Jenner, as well as mom, Kris Jenner. Now you guys, I don't know how um, to put this, but what does it mean when your family, including your children, are not in attendance? Now listen, Chris didn't invite the kids to the um, engagement. A lot of y'all said that that's because the kids are bad as hell and they thought they were gonna ruin it. But I'm like, at the end of the day, those are Courtney's bad kids she raised. Why wouldn't you want your kids there? There is something more to the story and I'm going to start sniffing it out. Where the girl, where the sister's not there, because Chloe is separating herself from the uh, family. Let's not forget, Courtney has a cute little coin. Travis uh, Barker got a real blink 82. Don't waste your time. He got a really, really cute coin. Again, I asked you, something's going on my little tattletales. I smell it in the air. I'm gonna go digging for that. But in the meantime, let's talk about how the way Scott, right? Let's talk about the way Scott literally made a fool out of himself again and again and again. He literally has been seen all over town dating a Kylie Jenner lookalike. I repeat, this is not a drill. He is dating a Kylie Jenner lookalike to help him through his emotions, right? To help him through his emotions with Courtney actually uh, finally moving past his trifling self and getting married. Y'all can act like Scott's a sweet little guy and all this stuff. I remember the Scott and his junk and rampages putting, shoving hundred dollar bills in waiter's mouth, literally going off, which is why I'm so weird that, you know, when court, keeping up with the Kardashians was at its heyday. Y'all remember that when it was at its heyday? That's when Courtney and Scott were the stars of the show and Kim was just like, eh, okay, Kim, you know, showing up with her big bells and her poof and whatnot. She wasn't really the draw of the show. When they started making Kim the focus and Chloe running after her, that's when ratings really started to drop. So take that what you will. This is Scott's new girly. Now, as you guys can see, let's make this a little bit bigger. As you guys can see, she does bear a striking resemblance to Kylie. She dates, she has a striking resemblance to Kylie. Now, let me actually just give you a little information on it. This woman, first of all, how old is this girl? This girl is 23 years old. Many people have commented how similarly Holly looks to, that she starred on Netflix, Too Hot to Handle, and looks to Courtney's younger sister and makeup mogul Kylie Jenner as her inspiration. A source told the magazine that Holly is a huge fan of Kylie. They literally said Holly is smitten with Scott and they've been talking to each other over the phone, but he doesn't want to rush anything. She loves the fact that he's hooked up with the Kardashians because she's a huge fan. Now, as you know, Scott has a turk bag history of dating little girls he was dating Sophia Richard. 
he dated Amelia Hamlin. I think Amelia Hamlin was 18 when she started dating him. Sophia Richie, even younger. You guys, what do you think of this unholy union? I don't know why the people in the Kardashian camp, especially the men, keep dating women that look like clones of people they allegedly mess with. I don't know. It's not my family. Let me know what y'all think. But anyway, my little title tells. Let me know what you think. I'm going to start digging and seeing what's really going on between Courtney, her kids, and that family. Because no lie, we blame Kris Jenner, or at least I did, for those kids not being there. But now, Courtney, you don't got your kids at the actual wedding. So, and where was Travis's kids? Something is going on. My my, Listen, my gossip raider is, all, is literally running amok. I'm going to keep y'all posted. In the meantime, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.